Hey everyone, it's Sevi, and I'm back with another Raiden Shogun video. Or is it a Kujo Sara video? Because in this video, the real stars are our two attack buff supports, Sara and Bennett. There's been a lot of talk that Sara is going to be awesome with Raiden, but on the condition that she has her C6. And if you have seen her C6, it does look quite impressive. Of course, this requires a lot of wailing or patience for Sara reruns, so many players will have to wait before they can pair C6 Sara with their Raiden. But is it an end goal for a more optimal Raiden team? How much of a difference does she make compared to just using Bennett, who really only needs his C1 and C5 to be at his best? After all, longtime players will most likely have a copy of him plus constellations already, so if you had to choose for your Raiden, is it worth benching Bennett to make way for Sara? Who will be the best support to maximize Raiden Shogun's burst DPS? Let's find out. I'll first discuss the talent effects of Bennett and Sara, my testing methodology, and the builds I used for this test before showing you the test clips. Let's go over my current Raiden Shogun quickly. A few important notes, she's at C3. If you haven't watched my previous video, I compared Raiden Shogun at C0 versus C3 and the damage difference is massive. I gained around 80% total damage just by making her C3. She's also on an R1 engulfing lightning, so obviously this is not a free-to-play Raiden, but what we want to focus on are her supports anyway. Just keep the damage difference in mind and adjust your damage expectations if you have a free-to-play Raiden. These are her stats, and she's using a 4-piece emblem of Severed Fate. Like in my previous video, I will also keep it constant that all tests start with 0 resolve stacks. I will pause the clips in her first critical hit and at the end of her burst cycle to show how much of the Geo Bishop's HP has been reduced. I'll include Zhongli for his shield to completely prevent interruptions and shred elemental resistance, but this will be a constant throughout the tests. Now for the real stars, we have Bennett and Sara. Here are their base attacks, this is the closest I can get both of them right now. And then we have their buffing talents. We can see just how far ahead Bennett is. Do note that Sara is at level 9 and Bennett is at level 11. Sara at level 11 will have an attack bonus ratio of 82%, but for now she's at 73%. It looks like the odds are stacked against Sara. Plus, Bennett C1 adds an additional 20% attack bonus ratio buff on top of his talent, so he's effectively getting a 126% attack bonus ratio. In terms of damage output with these attack buffs, Sara will lose, but her secret weapon is revealed at C6, because when she gives her attack buff, the electro damage of affected characters will have a 60% crit damage increase, and that's no joke. The question is, will it be enough to level the playing field with Bennett? Again, keep in mind that Sara's talent is two levels lower. For artifacts, Bennett is only using a two-piece noblesse, so there won't be an additional attack percent increase from artifact effects, while Sara is using an emblem set, which also doesn't affect her attack buff. Now let's go to the testing clips. For the first combo, we have Raiden and Zhongli with either Bennett or Sara. Pausing at the initial damage, which is a critical hit, you can see that Sara's is higher, so even with a much lower attack bonus ratio, she compensates for it with her C6 effect. But if I pause and show the HP reduced, you'll then see that Raiden was doing ever so slightly better with Bennett's run. This is also inconsistent in different runs. Sometimes with Bennett, the run was better, sometimes with Sara. So what gives? Aside from Sara's talents being lower, there is one major culprit that's causing this inconsistency, and that is Raiden's crit rate. Because again, Sara's C6 buff only depends if she deals a critical hit. But what if she doesn't crit? Then that's bad news for the Shogun. For example, in this clip wherein Raiden's initial burst damage doesn't crit, it's considerably lower with Sara, and that also factors in when she's doing her auto attacks. It also depends if she will crit during an auto attack with a low or high multiplier. You will need a high enough crit rate on Raiden, or the electro character you want to buff, to take advantage of Sara's C6 crit damage bonus. 
to reinforce that, let's take a look at this next combo where I added a Viridescent Venner Swirler. Again, it's the same trend of Raiden doing larger crit damage with Sara. And we can see that this time, Raiden dealt more damage overall with Sara, although not by much. And this could also be reversed depending on your crit rate luck. So to reiterate, yes, C6 Sara is better with another Electro character. In this case, Raiden Shogun, but only if you can back it up with the crit rate. Otherwise, it's better to go with Bennett for more damage consistency. Although, some would say, why not use both? And to that, I hear you. So here's a test clip wherein I compared a team composed of Raiden, Bennett, an Animo VV Swirler, and Zhongli versus Raiden, Bennett, an Animo VV Swirler, and Sara. So let's see the difference. Amazing. Finally, this is just a fun clip of me finding out what happens if I go at it with full resolve stacks and bring out my best boy Kazuha to now work with his former nemesis. Eternity. So is Kujo Sara the better support for Raiden and other Electro units versus Bennett? Well, it depends. If you don't have her at C6, then strictly speaking, in terms of damage output, Bennett will outperform her every time. If you have or plan to have a C6 Sara, then on equal levels, she can be better than Bennett, but only if you have a high crit rate on your Electro unit. How high? Well, my Raiden has a crit rate of 69%, nice. The total damage output between Sara and Bennett still had minor fluctuations and were neck and neck. So maybe something higher than 70% crit rate? But you have to consider, how realistic is it to achieve that and what stats are you potentially sacrificing to get it? Another factor when choosing between Sara and Bennett is that Sara's burst cost is 80 while Bennett's is 60. At first, this might sound bad, but consider that Raiden benefits teammates and from teammates having higher burst costs due to her skill and burst effect. As for the gameplay mechanics and whichever you enjoy playing more, that's a subjective thing for you to decide. Personally, I would pair Sara with Raiden most of the time, even if she's not on C6, simply because I love me some canon lore consistency. Plus, they look amazing together. <laughs> If you want to hear my review and other thoughts on Sara, I'll link my videos in the description. So those are my conclusions and recommendations. Are you sticking with Bennett for your Electro units or are you happy that Sara can finally take his place? Or maybe why not just build both, right? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if this helps and I will see you in my next video. Take care!